Hi, so this is a week of what I had for breakfast. It was quite the eventful week, filled with lots of yummy and mostly improvised breakfast ideas, sweet as well as savory ones. On Monday morning, I had a bit of a pre-breakfast snack first. So it was a slice of accidentally vegan raisin bread, toasted and topped with vegan butter. Oh, and also I added a handful of raspberries. Why not? My coffee on the side here was some cold brew that I had accidentally made way too strong. I had also added a bit of um, rooibos tea to it the night before, but like, since there was way too much coffee in this, you couldn't really taste the tea. My main breakfast of the day was this beautiful bowl of savory oatmeal. I first brought a small pot to medium heat, added a bit of oil, plus some chopped spring onion and chili flakes. I let that sizzle for about four or five minutes. Then I added my oats, also added some ground flax seeds, nutritional yeast, miso paste, water, bit of rice vinegar and brown rice syrup. Towards the end, I added some frozen edamame and spinach. I gave that just a few more minutes to defrost and wilt down. And that was pretty much it. As for toppings, I went for half an avocado, some bagel seasoning and chili mayo. Yeah, a bit of, a bit of crunch might have been missing. So you could perhaps add some walnuts if you'd like, or the savory granola from my cookbook. My breakfast was savory yet again. First, to a small saucepan over medium heat, I added a bit of olive oil, plus one whole peeled clove of garlic. I let that cook for about two to three minutes before adding some frozen edamame, about a tablespoon of some ready-made tahini dip, then a squeeze of lemon juice, some fresh cilantro, and spinach. Also adding a bit of soy sauce here and rice syrup. And then I took that off the heat. Last but not least, I'm blending up the cooked ingredients. adding just a bit of extra oat milk to help everything blend better. It's kind of like edamame hummus. Tuesday was especially nerve-wracking. Calm Coffee in Friedrichshain, they let me host a little community meetup. It was so much fun, oh my god. People got along really well and hopefully made some new friends. The cafe, they even baked things from the cookbook for us. Giant big shout out to them. Check them out. Try the mango matcha drink while you're at it. What's also really cool is the fact that Calm Coffee, they're now selling a stack of signed German cookbooks. So I don't know, maybe that is interesting to someone who lives in Berlin and has been meaning to get the book for a while. So yeah, thanks again to Calm. Thank you to everybody who showed up and came to the meetup. It was a blast and a half. And I really hope you had a good time as well. On Wednesday, I made another bowl of oats for breakfast. This time, it was sweet. To the pot, I added some small cut oats, vanilla, salt, and ground flax seeds. Also some matcha powder, non-dairy milk, and water. I let this cook for about five, six minutes over medium. Then I mixed in some brown rice syrup, plus some frozen cherries. I'm also drizzling over some white almond butter here. That day I had a friend from the UK come to visit and I took her to two of my favorite food places here in Berlin. Early in the morning, I first had some peanut butter chocolate bites. They're very good. I want to make them myself. 
Thursday's real breakfast though was toast again. I'm telling you like all I've been eating lately is oats and bread. My Instagram friend Ilona, who by the way is just a queen, an absolute goddess when it comes to creating aesthetically pleasing looking toasts, she posted this matcha cream cheese recipe the other day and that really spoke to me. So what I'm doing here is combining some vegan cream cheese, matcha powder, and a little bit of sweetener. I would also recommend you add a pinch of salt and maybe some vanilla to it. I cut up some strawberries here and added those. On this particular day, I had my last physical therapy session, which was honestly so sad because I really loved going there. I had a bit of an accident last year in November, and by accident, I mean I literally tripped over my own feet. Physical therapy, it's been helping me so much, not just to get my legs back in order, but also to like get a new feel for my body and learn how to have proper form when exercising and walking and have better posture, all that stuff. This is a raspberry oat yogurt, which I purely bought because of the design. Taste-wise, it's fine. It's maybe a bit sweet for my liking. Well, I also ended up adding a bunch more sweet things to it. So strawberries, banana, chocolate protein bar, some granola. So Saturday's breakfast was this super yummy tofu toast, which I used up a bunch of leftovers for. I cut up some plain firm tofu into chunks, transferred that to a bowl, and then added some chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, and salt. I then brought a non-stick pan with a bit of oil to medium high heat. And I let the tofu cook for six to eight minutes or until golden brown. In the meantime, I let some whole wheat bread toast in the toaster. And then I added a bit of gochujang to some store-bought hummus, mixing that well. And that was kind of the base of the toasts. Then I added some bell pepper slices, avocado, and the cooked tofu. Saturday, I spent all day doing nothing but sit in front of the computer. Sunday was super fun though. I've been going through my clothes lately, so I thought it would be fun to do another clothing swap. I made these gigantic blueberry crumb muffins so everybody could have something to snack on. These are really good. Fluffiest vegan muffins you'll ever make. Make the crumb mixture first. In a large mixing bowl, place the flour. I'm using spelt flour. Also add sugar, salt, and some cinnamon if you like. Give that a quick mix. Then add partially melted vegan butter. And mix again. Once it is cool enough to the touch, you can get your hands in there. Place the bowl into the fridge for like 20 minutes or as long as it takes you to get on with the next few steps. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm melting some more butter and greasing some muffin tins. So I made a total of 18 muffins. It's best to also line them with muffin liners, but make sure to still grease the upper edges of each mold regardless. Now on to the actual muffin batter. Combine the wet ingredients in a medium to large mixing bowl first. Sugar, applesauce, orange zest, vinegar or lemon juice, 
non-dairy milk, and some type of fizzy liquid. I'm using tonic water, but you could also do lemonade, sparkling water, also add some vanilla, and the now fully melted vegan butter. Set that aside while in a separate big bowl, you combine the dry ingredients, which is just flour, salt, and baking powder. Pour the wet into the dry ingredients and mix everything until smooth. Last but not least, quickly fold in the frozen blueberries. Now fill the muffin tin slash muffin liners almost all the way. This is how you achieve the really big muffin look. Evenly divide the crumb mixture atop the muffin batter. And then place these into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. As I was waiting for these to cool down completely, I made a quick little muesli. Also add some coffee on the side. Now, at first, I was pretty scared trying to remove the muffins and for a good few minutes, I had already given up, but I kind of figured out how to lift them out of the tray pretty easily, actually. You first run a knife Along the edges, you might have to cut through a little bit of the crumb mixture in order to do that, but then you simply slide your knife along the walls and you just lift it out from one side and provided you've greased the tin well enough beforehand, the muffins should slide right out. But again, muffin liners would be super helpful here. I had one of those for breakfast before everybody else showed up because I just couldn't help and wait. And that's the end of my week. I hope this was a fun watch. Um, also, let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see from me. I am definitely bringing back the fictional food video series very soon. So that's something to look forward to. Also, while we're here, check out my cookbook if you haven't already. It's called All Day Vegan. It's available in English and German, and it's pretty great. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good rest of your week. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Slow down, hold on tight now. It's okay to meet me at the front line. I've got cold feet, winter dry.